Welcome everyone. I'm with Micah here at the Walt Disney World Resort next to the Polynesian Village. And you see this beach right here, Micah? I see it. This beach almost did not exist. If they would not have gotten rid of the topic of this video, this beach would have been all washed out to the Seven Seas Lagoon. And the reason for that is there used to be an actual wave machine on that island right over there. Do you know how much it actually cost in 1971 to put the wave machine on that island? $400,000. And that's in 1971 money. That's a lot of dinero. Some say there are remnants. Some say it is underneath the water. But I think we need to go out there and check out and see if anything still remains and get a up close personal view with the wave machine island here on the Seven Seas Lagoon. What do you think? I'm game. Join us, shall you? Got our life jackets and our boat is ready to be manned. Let's do this. <laughs> We're actually doing this. Yes, we are. <laughs> Other way. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's different. It's kind of like, like a, riding a bike. Yeah. <laughs> machine has been gone a very long time, but I wanted to rent this boat and fly as close to there as we can and see if there's anything left. We've changed places. Now Mike is driving because I wanted to actually get up here on the front of the boat and actually try to get up close and actually get some good shots. So we've actually switched seats. But you can see, as we get a little bit closer, you can see some remnants remnants right over there. Let's get a little bit closer. Now some say that the wave machine, parts of the wave machine that used to actually come out into the water are actually sunken underneath underneath the actual water here. But you can see, look at those rocks there. You can see the facade, the decor of where the wave machine used to be. You can actually see all these rocks along the edge there. And that's all part of where the wave machine was. And the wave machine actually came out just a little bit. You can see the Polynesian right over there. So basically, how it's all still now, the waves were all crashing up onto that shoreline. And of course, that did not work out because it was starting to really do a lot of damage to the shoreline of the Poly. It seemed like a great idea. They were gonna have surfing contests. They were gonna have all kind of activities involving the waves. And they realized soon after operating it that it just was not going to be feasible because it ended up destroying the shoreline. So if you look closely you can see that chunk of rock right there that is where it started and it has like this mesh over it and the mesh is put there to keep the rocks from also dropping into the water. It's interesting too because when you're on the ferry boat going from the transportation ticket center you pass some of these islands and sometimes you will see things on the islands and you wonder what are those items on the islands. They all have a little bit of history. They all have a lot of reasoning on why they're here. Some memories on all these little islands here in the Seven Seas Lagoon. Are you down there, wave machine? Are you down there? Are you down there in the depths? Thanks for watching everyone. There's the island. There's Micah. Thanks to Micah for driving or at least taking over for me as I departed the shoreline and taking over so that I could film. Leave some comments if you know anything that maybe I forgot to mention about the wave machine that was actually right behind us, pushed up against that island. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, please subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free. And check out my vlog, a vlog I do every day over on the channel, The Daily Woo. See you guys later. Goodbye.
You're the captain of this ship. <laughs> of course, they have security out here. You got to make sure that we're not going to tip over. And they probably want to make sure that we're wearing our life vests. Even though they told us you don't have to wear the life vest, you just have to have them in the boat just in case you tip over. You want to have access to them. But just look at this. Seven Seas Lagoon in our own personal watercraft. What do you think? Dude, this is amazing. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a bucket list item. And look at this. Look at what is over here. It's the Magic Kingdom right there. Incredible. That is awesome. Hopefully we don't get rained out. These storm clouds in Florida, of course, very prominent. But look at that view. That's so awesome. Look at that. So there's the back side of the island. That's the back side of the island where the wave machine was created. Of course, there's also a lot of little like maintenance cabins and things on there that you really cannot see from the shoreline. And we're not gonna get off the boat and go snooping around, but I wanted to give you guys like an, as close to the shore view as possible of where the wave machine used to be. Isn't it wild to think that directly over your shoulder is Cinderella's castle? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are making their own waves. That's true. Who needs a wave machine when you have boats making their own waves? We're about to catch the current. We're about to catch a wave here at the Seven Seas Lagoon. Super awesome. Super cool. There you go. One last look at where the wave machine was. A little Walt Disney World history. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Now the shoreline is no longer in danger.